So right now we're in the metro, like the station, and we gotta take that line, lift go all the way to the Blue Mountains. So that's like platform six. It's coming in 21 minutes. So we got a lot of time to spare. Bam! Don't know what I'm gonna do, man. Just gonna like hang around, do some shit. Apparently the train takes around like 2 hours so it takes a very long time but in the Blue Mountains itself there are a lot of places to visit most of the people actually stop at this place called Katumba but you can take the train to other stations but it's recommended that you guys go to Katumba if you're on a one day trip but if you have time come here for more than one day it's also very good yeah. enjoy one more hour of scenic stuff Oh, oh wow, six dollars. Actually, it's not that bad. Yo guys, so I got some information from the guide. They say, actually, you can go to the Three Sisters and the uh, viewpoint, like the main viewpoint, by taking a bus from here, from Katumba. I think it's 686 or something. And actually, to be honest, the Blue Mountains is a huge place. So there's a lot of things to see. So if you're not going there, you can see other things. If you have a car, that's even better. So, yeah. Do check out this place man. This town is pretty pretty good. It's not it's not a shabby town. I think you can find like hotels to stay around there. Around the area. Yeah. See. 
Carrington Hotel. You guys, we're now in the Blue Mountains. So this place is called Echo Lookout. Further down, there's the Three Sisters. But, yo, check it out, man. This view, so beautiful, so beautiful. If you like nature, definitely check this place out. This place is worth visiting. Like 100 times, I don't know, man. But it's, it's like the Great Ocean Road, but you gotta spend more time here. You gotta like drive here and then you gotta like enjoy the area, scenery. That's how you actually like go around here. That's the best way to do it. Now you wanna see what's the crowd like? That's a crowd. Check it out. Man. That's a crowd. Now I gotta find my friends, man. I don't know where they are. They said they just took a bus here. And I have no idea where they went to. So it's gonna be a hard time trying to find them. Oh, this place is a nice place. You guys notice there's like a, a point, a viewpoint that is lower down there. We gotta head down there right now. Go check it out. I don't know how the hell to go, get down there. Just follow the tourists or something. Oh, oh, there's a park. Park there. Okay, let's go. Guys, I think I'm beginning to understand why the Blue Mountains are called the Blue Mountains. You see all the way there, all the way to the end. Like the entire range is like bluish colored. So I think that's one of the main reasons why they call it the Blue Mountains. Other than that, they probably couldn't think of another better name. So they just named it the Blue Mountains. But damn, it's freaking beautiful, man. This place. So the dude at the information counter told me to go to the Three Sisters. So we're gonna walk towards there. I don't know whether that's part of the plan because to go to the Three Sisters, you need to walk due west from Echo's Lookout. That means you gotta go to the left side in order to check out the Three Sisters in its full glory. But then after you check out the Three Sisters, you wanna go to the Scenic Route, I mean Scenic World, then you have to walk in the other direction to go back. So we'll see how it goes. In the jungle.
area you can see yeah. three sisters yes. but if you want to go down further that's the only pathway down you either go up or you go down if you go down you'll check out the three sisters but the thing is if you go down it, it gets steeper and steeper and then you go all the way to the bottom of the valley so you know to come up you gotta take the stairs up again i think there's a signboard somewhere that shows you guys so according to that signboard there it says 80 steep steps and 40 meters of steep steps so you got more time you can check out this place but i'll probably not go here you know i'll probably go back up to the scenic world so you can you can go all the way down and you'll reach the valley the bottom of the valley and you can also reach the the three sisters and you can check out the area like there's a lookout point stuff like that but i'm not going here today so yeah shout out to the water dispenser lifesaver that's the cable car check it out So right now I'm walking on a path from Echo Point all the way to this place called Scenic World. Scenic World is actually the place where you take the cable car. So there's like nobody, nada, zero, habis, whatever you call it, nothing at all, nine, whatever, there's nothing, nobody, I mean just me, me alone. Gotta love this world man. God, I want to stay here for a longer period of time. I love nature. A few moments later. Oh man. Oh. Oh no, shit. How am I gonna cross this? Shite. Oh. Oh. This entire trail is filled with like, like freaking puddles. Oh shit. Lady Dali lookout and bam the view here is kaboom guys kaboom oh, and there's this like, little, little rock that you can climb over and take a picture not recommended but if you want to do it go ahead So guys, so right now we're on the beaten, off the beaten track. See, there's a staircase. Yeah. And that's the viewing point. But, check where am I? That's a few steps off the cliff, man. Wow. But the view from here is amazing. Because it's like panoramic. You see everything without any obstruction at all. So really you can see like the entire view and then down there that's scenic wall yeah we gotta come back here man. Puddly steps. Bam.
about the track is that there's like puddles everywhere. Check this out. Puddle and more puddles. There's puddles everywhere. I don't know whether this happens every day, but from the echo viewpoint to the scenic world, man, lots of puddles, man. Yo guys, when you see me, you know what's up, right? Yes, that's right. The video is too long, so I gotta cut it short. This video will probably be about like 18 minutes long. If I then cut it halfway and have it like two parts, it will be like at least 30 minutes long. So that was the 9th of July. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was Tuesday. And be sure to tune in for the next episode, which is the next part. Basically, we're gonna go to the scenic world and we're gonna cross a lot of puddles, more puddles. And you know, the hike there is really intense. We even discovered like some interesting stuff like birds and whatever, all that crap. And even like, we found a very very interesting spot that nobody has ever went to. Like, I mean, I'm sure people have gone there, but the thing is like, they haven't really explored the area yet. So, I'm sure, you know, very few people have actually gone there to take a look. But it was very interesting, we saw a waterfall and stuff like that. And there's a mini waterfall and then there's a giant waterfall. Anyway, I shouldn't spoil much, you guys should just check out the video for yourself. This is of Thought, I'm gonna sign out. Follow, like, subscribe and be sure to turn on that notification bell for any videos that are going to come. By the way, be sure to comment down below if you have any questions or queries, I will answer all of them. Thank you so much for watching and peace out guys. I love you guys. Yeah, see you soon. See you.